It's Ken Chiefs. I'm here with Patrick Flanagan in his beautiful home. Thank you for having us. My pleasure. Out here. <laughs> I, I look at this and I just, uh, I'm blown away. Now, you've been here how long now, Patrick, in this home? Since uh, 1998. Wow. And um, we've talked once before about uh, your abundance in your life. And it's really from all your inventing, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. And by the grace of God, God is... <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> I don't do anything to generate abundance. It just uh, is given to me. But for regular people who don't have your gifts, I mean, your reincarnation of Nikola Tesla, you, what, what would you say to the average Joe out there? How, how can he escape the matrix uh, and have a life like you have? Uh, is it even possible? It's programming. We have to learn how to follow our dreams and trust uh, at least that's what i do i trust so i identified my talents that god had given me and i've done everything in my life that i can to develop my talents and everyone can do that every single person out there has talents gifted from from the creator the moment they were born you just have to stick with your dream that doesn't mean that you can't earn a living and do things but yeah. stop watching television and, and stop being programmed by the mass media yeah and and just do what it is that you love the most whatever that is besides all these inventions yeah. you're a great author and you authored uh, uh pyramid power Yes. Uh, which just yes, opened up a whole world of pyramids uh, for people and yeah. created an industry in a way. Um, are you seeing any new geometric forms that are coming about? All the time. You know, my, my son, uh, my wife and I separated when he was 13 years old. And... Uh, and she kept him away from me pretty much. And, uh, and uh, I, I know the story. <laughs> but, yeah, but he did this research and he said, Dad, he said, I've come to the conclusion that you are the cause of the new age. Wow. That you are the source of the new age. And there's the win for confirmation. Yeah. Holy cow. It was 1998 and there was, um, I was invited to a dinner party that was for Patrick in Boulder Creek, California, which is just outside of Santa Cruz. And um, he was in town to do a lecture in San Francisco. I didn't know who he was, but um, a mutual friend who was throwing the dinner party invited me, and I had heard all kinds of wild things about him. And um, I came to the party, uh, there were a lot of people there, and you know, it's like, well, where is this guy? Somebody, this is like the upgrade. This is the upgrade of a high five. You come up, you go, high five. And, and you look into each other's eyes. That look, can you come? Yes. yes. Come on. All right. And then you pull your hand back like this, and you just let the energy flow. So it's a, you, you have to feel the energy of the other, and then just let it go. And look in each other's eyes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So no more slapping, no more hitting, and 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 recognizing the five frequency in all, right? And I, people just take to it, and they love it because um, it's the truth. It's like we've upgraded the high five. With Patrick, every day is Christmas, and every night is New Year's Eve. And as extreme or abundant or insane as that sounds, it's true. It really became true. It is true. It was in the beginning. It still is. There's a kind of a magic um, going on that's like, wow, look what happened today, and this and that and the other thing. And then at night, there's a magic, a kind of another kind of magic, like the feeling of the eve, you know, like the transition and the magic. Pat's gotten more and more that way where he wants to see it all and move it around and keep it going, and, and he wants it right there. And we don't have vast, you know, space in our home. And the thing is, is, is um, all the creative scientists I've known in my life, their labs looked extremely messy, like a hurricane hit them. And, 
and yet they were incredibly creative in coming up with new discoveries. Now, the scientists who are analysts or analysts uh, are scientists whose labs are perfectly neat and everything is in order and they analyze things, but they're not creative. First 2012, because that, that was a completion of that Zolkin, and we're only, we're now we're in the third wave spell of the red castle of the new Zolkin. We entered the Zolkin. We're in such a new time, it's ridiculous. <laughs> I, get, I, get, I don't want to say too much because it, get, it gets even deeper, but that's where we are. We're the, this is it. This is the Aquarian age, absolutely. There's nothing we can't do, and we are. We will solve all our problems, and we probably will also go through a birth canal that, that'll seem turbulent, but, you know, right. come on. It's a fantastic planet. Now, it Patrick, has to make uh, it Patrick, true. I know you've been talking on Facebook and uh, on your on your Five Sciences page about immortality not being that far away. Yes. Um, that really blew my mind when I saw that yesterday on Facebook. Um, uh, humanity is is on the edge of physical immortality. Um, we have the technology now to give immortality. Is this a, is this a, uh, yeah, I have no problem saying this. I'm proud of what I'm saying. I'm telling you. Okay, no, shut up now. No, We're going to do this. You don't tell me to shut up. You say, you say stuff I've heard you say. Uh, 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 my baby. I told you that a long time ago. I got it. You don't respect. need to continue to because I got it. I got it. And vice versa. I am. Mm, so that's it. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> it's Ken Sheets. When you're looking at a portal, I saw on the energetic level, the ethereal world, that Patrick Flanagan opened today in cooperation with scientist uh, friend, co-worker Nick Edwards of Power Pyramids. These two are amazing in terms of the work they do for the energetics for the planet. Enjoy.